Didn't want to peek into it and potentially die. Still, 45 seconds. Elige with that P2000, but he gets dropped. Had a chance maybe for a shot, but Tessus will take him down. And now they're going to put some pressure on, actually forcing Nitro back. And almost catching him there was Yabby. And here it is. Is Nitro going to be ready for it? This is the question. If they've done the research, they know this lurk comes into play. Nitro just looks away, hearing noise, but he has no idea about Yabby. He is beat at the moment by positioning, recovers nicely. Nitro with one, but he needs way, way more. Oh, and he's gonna get it. Can't find a third, and it's Naf left in a 1v2, 15 seconds. That's a huge play for Nitro. And now Naf has to make good on that. 10 seconds, waiting inside of the smoke. The bomb is gonna be planted. Oh, and he comes out right behind it. Tesses. does he fight? Or does he try and play for time? That bomb is only just planted. It's a long time to wait. Naf gets the drop down, tries to get the flick, but Tessis will get the headshot instead. A quad round as expected. Yep, smoke goes down, and Team Liquid can't really do anything. They're going to be locked out. So Heroic will go up three to nothing with these deep positions. In fact, I mean, the unarmored USPs coming in might just feed Katie in a little bit more cash. Some dinks coming out. Stack never got put into play. And Stown is out there warming up his aim, no problem. 3-0 and in favor of the home team. But... 50 seconds now, and they're gonna start to peel back, so... Smoke up up to heaven. Yakinda's down here, and Nitro's next to him, but they need to win this early fight. Good trade from Tessas. And once again, it's on the shoulders of Nitro. They're coming in from every angle. Double entry for Tessas is just so powerful. Elige, he's trying to save this, but Trish will not let him. Big double, and it's Naf. He can stick around and look for a kill or two, but actually winning the round is going to be near impossible at this stage. I think he's trying to stay back away and get out of danger. And now going to start re-aggressing. This play is everything. Yabby and Tess is the only players with an opportunity to create an opening for Heroic to win this. Oh, boost up in the back, so they know that there's going to be two people there. They also know Nitro is somewhere up close. They can guess that much. For Mars to slink around, the timing is good. I think Yabby spotted it, but Tess is just going to get the communication in time. And they're going to clean this every single time. We don't have any rifles at all. We're going to be so happy. Under 50 seconds, and they're starting to get out long again. Kinder's going to peek into every single one, not traded. And that's a little bit surprising. They had two rifles way back there that maybe could have at least taken a couple of shots at him. Trying to get it back now is Kadian with that AK, but he's not connecting. And now there's no pressure on Liquid to really fight too much. They know everything. OC is going to find a second kill for himself. And Yabby. OC still has a Molotov, but can they use it in time? That's a good stoppage. Taking down KD in to begin with, but Nitro is traded, and OC, he misses the shot. Yabby still there with the entries. A double for him, and you can do an Elige, like you said, quite far away. They can't necessarily be there to help out, although that is a bit of a speed bump. Bomb gets dropped, Elige taking down Tessus, and you can do, he's on a massively long flank, so the bomb will definitely be planted. But do they want to go for this? Uh, they're got and get into that second half a little bit better. Could make all the difference in the world. Three on five at about 25 seconds. There should be really almost no way for Heroic to bring this back. Flashes go in. A little bit of a defensive smoke from Elige to try and build a bridge to play around here. Scout shot coming out, and now we're down to 13 seconds. Oh, they're planting down at the other bomb site. They over-rotated Liquid. They got a little bit too aggressive. If Kinder showing up, but Shush will take him down. They know it's a three on one at the B bomb site, though. They're going to hustle this. Yeah, and they find Shush immediately. Oh, that is a good read. Straight on that defuse with the kit as well. I don't think Tessus can even get here in time. Liquid, what an absolutely great round at the end. Eight to seven. Still in favor of Heroic, but that's not bad at all. We'll see how they could do it. He snuck up behind. If he's too quick and makes too much noise, they're going to know and it won't work. And if he's a little bit too slow, the bomb will be planted, and it's a very different round. He's taking it slow, so it's only Tessus. It's only Tessus. Good find from OC. Checks the back. And Liquid deliver a stunning pistol round of their own. 4v2. I don't know if this is possible. It shouldn't be. Liquid should be able to play this one out just nice and slow. What a spin around from OC to catch that. Absolutely critical. If he's a little bit too focused on the A bomb site, that's all it takes, and the round slips out of their hands. Dooley's are gone, Shush on his own, and he's going to get overwhelmed. Naf to get the final kill, Liquid. 
so far, that surely that is the biggest danger, is if they decide to pull the trigger and go back down connector and into the B-bomb site, that's where that... Oh, look at this. They're already pushing up. The other they're guy really is how early. long they're waiting. Yeah, this is scary. 30 seconds, they catch Naf, and now they've been slowed down. The time is running low in this round right here, and they're sandwiched in. They have to go, but there is a defense. MP9 on Tessus before he goes down. Yakinda, that's a critical kill. He sees the shadow, but he doesn't react in time. One versus one, and down with the headshot. So close for Lee. Smoke to get them a bit closer, perhaps. I thought they were going to maybe flash their way through that one. But they're wasting a fair bit of time here. 30 seconds. And Tess is going to feel them getting a bit closer. They have Shush outside of the B-bomb site, so they're so confident, heroic, that it's going to be a push here towards A. And they're not really wrong either. A little bit of a spray. Naf will get the one kill. And that's all they get. Find them. Oh, oh this Lord. could be devastating. They don't even know. Tess is walking up behind him. They don't have a clue either. The spray down begins, and it's a huge double for Tess's. Everything they could have wanted. And you can not. He's going to go down 15 on the side of Heroic. Ah. Hear them jumping inside of the bomb site. Acadian Habit is there, all right. Stalemate. Yeah, you can stay there. I guess we'll call it quits. Shush in a great position right here, but Elige. He'll get the headshot and nothing else. And OC, he's got nowhere to go. He's got no more teammates. One versus three, and only 25 seconds. And that smoke is fading. Kadian knows it's a good shot to begin with. But all of the fight is still ahead of him, and oh, he's going to try and make a run. You crazy. Oh my god, can the he even make it? I think he can make it, but uh, I mean, you can't, you can't take a fight at all. If Tessas just challenges, this round is over, even if he doesn't win it. Yeah, here we go. Four seconds, he's straight on it, but Tessa's nose, he runs in, and the round is done. 16 to 10. Heroic's quest for Danish Counter-Strike royalty is...